Okay, everyone, we're into Shady Punch, Shadyville, Messyville, however you want to see it. Doggone it, we talking about Portia Williams once again. Yes, because on those streets, the YouTube streets are what I'm talking about. They are saying Portia Williams is trying to enlist Candy Burst Tucker onto getting her back onto the show. Now, I don't know how true that is. Because I'm getting it from another YouTuber. And he always has these speculations. And they don't necessarily come true. But he does have a good way of making you chuckle and laugh about the situation. Okay. But that's what these streets are saying. That Portia Williams is over there knocking on Candy Burris' dough. And trying to enlist her into getting her back on the show. Now, I'm with Miss Bertha. That's too much. It's too much. And I'd be damned if I would let Candy put her reputation on the line, her good standings that she had with Bravo, to let you come back, Portia. So, I don't know. It seems like you might have to do a lot of groveling or something to let Candy come to the back, though, and try to tell you tricks of the trade or how to get back on, and she would throw a good word in for you. I don't know, because you look desperate out here, Portia. You look desperate. You're out here running after a grown-ass man. He's older than you are by probably 15 years or more. And you think you have solidified the bag with catching you a millionaire slash billionaire. When in actuality, you just caught a simple man, okay, that don't have that much. But he's trying to make it do what it do, okay? He's trying to fake it till he can make it. And do you really think Candy Burris has forgotten all about the plot that you were allegedly had nothing to do with and didn't have any information on it? But the seed that Phaedra tried to plant for negativity for Candy Burris' downfall, okay? You lied on her, Portia, or you were given a lie that you put out there for everybody to hear that was listening when you were on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, we know how that lie could have definitely damaged Candace's reputation and landed her ass in jail. So, you may have just been a carrier and Phaedra was the catalyst of the whole thunderstorm of storyline, but it damn sure could have cost Candy a hell of a lot. Okay, and she ain't letting none of us forget about that situation. She's still grieving. And she's still holding on to that bone. It's just like a, a nice milk bone for a dog that's enjoying it real well. And you try to go take it from him and he snap at you. <coughs> that's what Candy feels like when she has to go back and relive what you and Phaedra had put together on her and Todd. Now, they liked it you at one time. They wanted you to become a part in their bedroom. And we already know, can it go both ways? Todd's okay with that. Portia has hinted here and there, being a little messy, that she goes both ways. All right? So, that was an interesting couple's swinging together. But from what I understand, it never happened, never took flight. Never saw the light of day because of that nasty rumor that Phaedra put out on Candy. Because Candy sided with Apollo when Apollo and Todd were friends. And Phaedra didn't like that. So that was her way of getting back at Candy, allegedly. So now Portia is without jobs. She don't have this nation anymore. And she definitely don't have Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? And... Portia was a favorite on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But it just is what it is. Y'all go check out Straight for the A. And um, the Jasmine brand. And I forgot the other lady. But anyway, go check their channels out. They're good bloggers as well. And good storytellers. But Candy, she's going to hold on to that. Or how you tried to do her. And you got excused. But she really wanted you to go down with Phaedra as well. Because y'all were freaking Fred at the time. Y'all didn't too much care for Candy. Y'all laughed about her. Did this and that and the third. Yes, y'all talked about her real bad. 
And not that she didn't get those uh, talks, didn't get back to her. So I was quite surprised that you would look to Candy for her business savviness that she gets from Don Juan as well. And if Don Juan had anything to do with it to convince Candy, uh, yeah, you wouldn't be back on the show. Because you kind of look like a plague. You kind of look at like a bad omen. And nobody wants to be associated with you. Just like nobody wants to be associated with Phaedra. And Candy is definitely holding on to that. Because she said she will ride with Bravo until the wheels fall off. Or until they ask her not to come back to the show. That's the only way she would be off the show. She's like, why wouldn't she stay? It's a nice check. And she knows it's a nice check. Okay. But... Like I said, Don Juan always tries to look out for Candy. And Candy does think about what he has to say and how she needs to move. So she really takes his advice and do it appropriately. But I'm like Aunt Bertha. You asking for too much. You asking for too much, baby. Because Candy really kept you out of jail. Because if push came to shove... I'm sure Port, I mean, um, Candy would have some real nice, savvy lawyers that would have taken you and Phaedra to the cleaners. So, if a family don't want her to fuck with you anymore, Todd, we don't care too much what he feels about the subject because he just, he probably still want to get with Portia to this day. But Candy and Don Juan, they kind of like kindred spirits. They're not going to let that happen. So, I would behoove you or would think that you need to slide up Kenya Moore's ladder. I think. I don't think you had infringed on her in any way possible. Let me think. Mm, no, that was Kenya. Okay, an Apollo situation. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. You really don't have anybody in your corner. Because... It could have been Cynthia being in your corner just a tad bit. But now you and Cynthia got into it too. Yeah, she was going to kick you in the vagina area. Mm, so, damn, you have you really burnt some bridges on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then, Kenya, you know, y'all always fussed a lot because you got in a fight with her. Remember, you put her down to the ground and tried to snatch all her hair out of her head. That's where you had to go to anger management. So, damn, who who haven't you offended, Portia, that would feel cool about bringing you back into the fold? Hmm. Because I know the newbies wouldn't want you to come back because they would feel like you're taking their shine, their thunder, from becoming a big paycheck, a big uh, idol to see. Or look for it each Sunday when they come on. They want to shine now, Portia. The newbies want to make their mark in reality TV. Drew Sador ain't doing nothing for me, even when she came on. But, you know, it might be one of those things. Like Cynthia, she never was worth her grain of salt on the show either. She was just fashion, fashion. And that was pretty much it. And she really rode it. For a long time. When she really should have been going out the season two. Or really out the Peter left. She should have left. But she was more so. As. I don't know. I would say the mother of the show. But then we had little. Um, what do you call it. Spats between her and Nene. When Nene was on it. But see. You don't listen to Candy anyway. Because Candy had told you to slow down with dirt assignment. And she said she wasn't going to speak too much on it. Because after the fight. That you and her first fight. That you and her got into it about. She talking too much about Dennis. And the, the, the forewarning she tried to give you about Dennis. Before you got impregnated. You know. And see everybody in these streets. Especially in Atlanta. The ones that really want to get a hold of you they really feel you are a man stealer you are a husband stealer you plotted up on this woman to get on the show and you were messing with her man behind closed doors now we don't know if that to be true uh it's your side her side and then it's the middle where the evidence is and the truth 
resides. But you have to get through all that mess first. But Candy also tried to tell you about Simon and Dennis. Both of them. Both of them. Collectively. But you didn't want to listen. You didn't want to listen to Candy. Candy had told you this man still sowing wild oats out there. He's not one to be settled down. Because he has a lot of women he finds himself with. Okay. She didn't say he was a bad person. But she was trying to tell Portia she wouldn't be the only woman in his life. And by getting to know Portia, you know she wants that monogamous relationship. She wants that one-on-one -on -one relationship. So, Candy knew that wasn't going to be the case. Because the streets be talking to Candy. And Candy has the key to Atlanta. She has a key to Atlanta. A very prestigious award for, you know... People that do a lot of philanthropy type work, a lot of community work, donating money to special causes and this, that, and the third. And they like her. They like her in Atlanta. Okay. And what's what? What's really not to like? Okay. What's really not to like? She's a pretty good um, young lady. She's a good woman. She's a good savvy business woman. I think she gets a lot of it from Don Juan as well. Um, to... Three beautiful kids, uh, one stepdaughter that she really treats like her daughter if Todd just lets her do so. But, you know, that's another whole avenue, another whole story, another whole video. But, you know, you really did lie on her and it could have cost her jail time. She could have lost all her endorsements. She could have definitely been fired off of um, Real Housewives of Atlanta for such allegations that were false, allegedly. And then she wanted you to come on her show. Shout out to the Jasmine Brand as well. She's another blogger. She has a podcast. She has a lot going on. And she deals in celebrity news. Check her out. Tell her I sent you over there. Um, but yeah. Um, Candy had been trying to get you on Speak On It. Speak On It. You know that show. Her YouTube show. And you denied. You didn't want to go over there. You didn't want to patron her. You didn't want to do anything. But you want her to come out with all her uh, connections. All her loveliness. Because she is the queen of Bravo. They love her. She's their princess. Uh, she's their golden child. They pretty much will let Candy have anything. Because she conducts herself professionally. She don't be on social media downing or dogging out her employer. No, she know where she get her money from. She know where she wants to continue making her living from. So she ain't going to talk bad about nothing Bravo has to come out and produce in these streets. And they like that about Candy. And she's not hard to film. She's very polite with the crew. And... I mean, if you have somebody like that, you're going to always give them opportunity. But you did not listen to Candy about Dennis nor Simon. I don't know if she talked with you or you talked with her about leaving the show because you wanted your own show. But we see how that went. That crashed and burned real fast. From the inception, the induction of that first season, that first episode. It was going to the fire. And to the fire it stayed. But Candy. She's had, she had some uh, spinoffs or whatever. And this one she's working on now. That she got 10 seasons. Well 10 episodes this first season. That's outstanding. Did it do the numbers that she was really hoping for? No it did not. Um, is it a show with vi viability? Likeability? Somewhat. Um. And it's true to form on when you go and work for a restaurant. The things that go along in the whole process of being in that environment. It's truthful. And you do have certain scenarios sp uh, spring out from nowhere when you're on the job. Sometimes life imitates your life in your work environment. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I kind of think that's a piss poor idea. And I think you're grasping at straws. And then it comes to mind. Why do you want to be back on a six figure, seven figure show. When you have a billionaire husband. 
or a billionaire boyfriend, I should say, because you're not married, even though you use the MR, MRS period whenever you feel like it, whenever you want to drop it down on us. But again, it's such a hot mess because you're fooling yourself. You're not married. What world of reality are you living in? Because it's definitely not the plane of existence that we're on. Because the only way you get to actually say Mrs. is when you are married legally. Okay? Other than that, you're just a miss. M-S. M-I-S-S. But you're doing too much, Portia. You're doing too much. But like I said, I don't know if it's true or false. But this is what the streets are saying. These are what some bloggers are picking up. And I thought it was very interesting. Because I don't see how you can dog somebody out real bad. Almost put out a lie or believe a lie that can put somebody in jail. Take all of their finances and resources and leave them pretty much destitute. And you were a part of this. Knowing or unknowing of the truth that Phaedra had gave you that mess to spit out because she knew you would do just that put it out there but Fraser didn't know it was going to blow up in her face and cost her her job on the show so it's, it's really about through the grace and the mercy of the Lord that got you on that show and kept you and sustained you but your little bisted butt went out there throwing caution to the wind because you thought you caught you a really good catch but then you said on the Tamara Hall show that y'all were courting y'all were dating y'all were getting to know each other but on the other hand, you said, well, that's my husband. How silly and dumb do you sound, Portia? How silly and dumb do you sound? So, I don't know, girl. I don't know what the world holds for you. But until you sit down and try to figure out who Portia is and what Portia wants, and Portia can survive without a man, you ain't doing shit in my book. You ain't doing shit in my book. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. And sometimes people say you shouldn't go back to old jobs. Once that door is closed, you should keep it closed and look for new, better, stronger opportunities out there. So that's how I'm with it. And that's how I would be if you were to approach me and I was still on the cast. I was like, girl, let this door stay shut. Because... They're not going to treat you right. Or you're not going to treat yourself right. In this instance. You're going to come and want XYZ worth of money. And they're not going to want to pay you for that. Because they're cutting everybody's salary. Except for the ones that really do produce. And at this point. I think that would be. Kenya Moore. Samuel Roberts Richardson. I think. Samuel Ross Richardson. I think her name is. She's promising. Child can talk two different languages. And she was getting Drusadora together in her Jamaican accent. Child. I was like, okay, I'm there for her. I'm on Team Richards at this point. Okay. And I'm side eye the rest of them. All right. Because I want to see what this newbie going to bring. But Drusadora sure didn't bring Jack. They treating her like Cynthia now. Which is a hot mess. Okay. But I'm pretty sure it'll be a cold day in hell that uh candy will put you back on now, even though she got kenya back on like i said she boycotted for her to be on the show and she was relentless about that until uh kenya came back as a full-time peach holder and then she got marlo she's glad marlo got her peach finally and she even said so that with you leaving portia and cynthia she kind of felt some kind of way but then, in actuality, it really turned out real good not having y'all on the show. <laughs> so, you got a nice, nasty slap in your face, Portia. Yes, because all the lies, the lies, the lies you told when you were on the show. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this predicament that Portia has found herself in. Do you think it's true? Do you think it's plausible? That she may have had a conversation with Candy about testing the waters for her. Because she can't get them to answer the door. She done wrong, wrong, wrong. Her people done wrong, wrong, wrong. And they just ain't picking up. They letting every one of her calls go to voicemail. <laughs> 
And then the assistant comes around and deletes every last one of them. Okay. But I'll see y'all next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.